Then you're just going to take and sew the stitch, top stitch of the thumb to the stitch on the opening of the hole on the mitten. And you're just going to sew all the way around until the thumb is sewn onto the mitten. After I finished sewing the thumb completely on, then I'm just going to tie a knot I like to go three times just to make sure it's nice and secure. Then you just take and bury the loose yarn end. Just kind of weave it through so it doesn't show on the right side but it's buried on the wrong side. And I just go a couple of different directions. Make sure it's nice and buried. Then I just take and trim turn it inside out so that the right side is facing you and you have your mitten completed. Now you can go ahead and make your other mitten and like I said before you want to make sure that you have your left and right thumb holes in the right place with the braided cable on the back side. If you want to attach your mittens to your scarf like I did, I'm going to show you how I made my braided cable. This is how much yarn I have left. Still have plenty left over. So you just take your yarn, fold it over on itself to form a loop. Then just take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. Just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for your slip knot. I'm going to go ahead and cinch it all down. And the loop is around my crochet hook. Then I'm going to make a chain. So I'm making a chain of 51 and I'm just going to show four of them on video tutorial. So you yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for one chain two, three, four. So you can make yours whatever chain length you want for the cord between your scarf and your mitten. For mine, I'm making a chain of 51. So go ahead and make your chain. Again, I'm making a chain of 51 and then come back. After you make your chain, again mine was a chain of 51, then you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Just bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch and make a single crochet. You're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across. and then come back. So I just finished my last single crochet in the last stitch. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury in your work. And then you're going to need three of these. So a total of three. This is the first one. Go ahead and make two more. So now I have three different ones. I've buried the loose yarn ends on two of them. I'm just going to take the top ends and place them on each other and then I'm going to take the third one. On the third one I just left the long loose yarn ends because I'm going to use those to help me sew. I'm going to place all three together, the top ends together on top of each other and then I'm going to take the mittens And then I have the braided cable on top. I'm going to place the three cords 
onto that bottom row of double crochet and then I'm going to take the smaller loose yarn in that I have or you can just get some yarn on your tapestry needle for sewing. I'm going to bring through all three cords to the back side of the mitten and then I'm going to take the long end for sewing and I'm going to bring that also through and you're going to want to be careful on the other side because this is the side that's going to show on the back of the mitten so when you're sewing depending on the color if you have a yellow color or whatever matching color then you can use that but for me I have the purple I don't have the yellow on my roll so if you know what color you're going to end up with you could save a little bit of that color just in case but for me I'm just going to make a pretty design on the back and then I'm just going to sew these three cords to that bottom row of double crochet. Here is the back of the mitten and I have the three cords secured to the back and then this is the braided cord the hand will go right through here then you're going to take and just braid these three cords and then you're just going to braid it all the way down crisscrossing and braiding all the way down to the bottom I'm just going to finish on video tutorial in case you've never braided before. Then you're just going to take that bottom, place the three on the bottom together. You can kind of straighten out your braid if you need to. And then you can either have your tapestry needle with the yarn ready or you can just kind of pin together those bottom three cables while you get your tapestry needle ready with your yarn for sewing and then you're just going to sew the ends together so they don't come apart make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn end for burying into your work so I'm just going to make the initial stitch or not to hold the pieces together and then I'm going to use the same yarn to sew it to the scarf. Now you're going to take your scarf and you're going to pretend like you have it on the child. You're going to crisscross so that the braided design is showing and this is how the, the scarf will be on the child. And then how I'm making mine is after I crisscrossed the scarf, I want to have the left mitten to be on this side and then the right mitten to be on this side. So it's going to be opposite on video tutorial. So you imagine the person you're facing, the person, their left hand will be over on this side and the right hand will be on this side. So make sure you have the mittens. Here is my 
right-handed mitten. And then my left-handed mitten I'm going to put on this side. And then the right-handed mitten I'm putting on this side because when you have the mittens on the child you'll have the the scarf crossed over and then the mittens will be on the right side for the hands and then you're just going to sew it make sure that you sew it so that the end of the cord is going to be under the braided design when you sew so I'm coming up from the center with my cord, the end of the cord. And then I'm just going back through, being careful not to mess up the design on the front. And then I'm just going to sew the mitten cord to the under part of the scarf. And then I'm just going to bury my loose yarn ends when I'm finished. And then do the same thing to the other side. Then I have both mittens sewn on. Here's what the cords look like on the ends of the scarf. And then here I have my mittens. This one's for the left. This one is for the right hand. Braided cables are up. I just wanted to show a close-up of all of the crochet braided cable designs. So I have a separate video tutorial for the adult version of the crochet braided cable. This crochet baby blanket is my sweet pea blanket. It's really easy to make and is perfect for a beginner crocheter even though it doesn't look like it's for a beginner. It's very easy to make. And then you can make your matching baby booties. These are the crochet cable, braided cable, matching baby booties. And then there's a separate video tutorial for the crochet baby and toddler braided cable hat. This color was made with Red Heart Super Saver. And then this one is made with 100% cotton. Just showing a different color. The same booties in a different style of yarn, the 100% cotton. And then also there's a separate video tutorial for this scarf, this matching scarf. And this is what the different yarn looks like for the toddler braided cable. The scarf with the braided cable for a toddler. But I also show how you can make it larger if you like it for the adult version. And I also have a separate video tutorial for these crochet braided cable matching mittens and I show how to attach the cable so the toddler doesn't lose their mittens. I needed two skeins of this yarn if you like this particular yarn and I show the yarn that I used in the video tutorials. But I needed two skeins to make the hat, the scarf, and the mittens and then this is how much yarn is left over. I just wanted to show you these boxes that I got for the gift sets and the reason why I got these style boxes is because the person can easily store them so it's a really sturdy box. I was going to get the plastic containers but um, these were on a good sale, so I went ahead and grabbed these because they're really sturdy to put the gifts in. If you like these boxes, I got mine from the container store. Here's the name of the brand. You can take this tag out 
and turn it around and then you can write whatever you want on it. I'm going to put Gracie's winter outfit in this one. And this is how I packaged up my gift sets. 